Hey guys! So today, you and I are going to talk about perception. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, thank you for the video. How should I mention to my new team that a part of the code base seems to be in a bad shape? I only just started working there and management now management now communicates that the market dictates a very strict time release for this bad code increasing the pressure and I will probably and will probably make things worse. The team overall seems to value high quality code. Well, uh, so the way that you're formulating yourself makes me think that this is a problem of, as I mentioned, perception. Uh, this is a very very common problem. I see this a lot with junior software developers and I'll give you the same tip that I've given a few of the ones that I've coached uh, in actually fairly recent time. Uh, so I had a junior software developer, she was working with me for uh, let's about a year a few months so uh, half a year or something like that and over that pe time period she had a few tasks where I noticed that basically some things took longer than expected and of course for anybody who's ever been a software developer and gone through a uh, a story where you think something is easy or you think something's gonna go one way and then things just kind of scope creeps on you or you figure out that oh actually this thing was more complicated than I thought you know the fear or the embarrassment of having to go to this daily stand-up or how many you have now I'm not sure and say uh, actually I'm still not done actually I'm still not done no this is still ongoing this is still ongoing and then having people increasingly ask you more and more questions about okay do you need any help like do you have is there a blocker like why is it taking so long etc etc that is a very big stressor for a lot of software developers and she was no exception and I'm guessing that you are exactly in the same sort of position here because you're mentioning that you're dealing with a bad code base time restrictions and so forth and so forth. it's the classic like the the stars are aligning or like you're create there's a storm brewing basically and so what I usually say here to software developers is that perceptions matter. So I sat down with her and I said, so I've noticed that you're a little bit timid about this thing. So let's do this. Let's you and me sit down and I will look at the problem together with you and then I will make a suggestion to you. And said and done, we had a, uh, we had a video conference. I sat down with her, I took a look at what she was dealing with and I saw the problem pretty quickly like when she walked through it and she explained that yeah like I'm supposed to do that and that but I'm not sure about this and she, you, of course she had a few things that she wasn't really sure about so we figured those out and then I said well have you noticed that the problem here one of the problems is that the code is in such a state that uh, you won't actually be able to write any unit tests for this code as is you're not going to be able to do that and so what you will need to do is to basically rewrite this part of the system so that you can add unit tests because that is like in this case I was the team lead because that's going to be a hard requirement for me like that you do that and she goes oh yeah but then that that's going to take a e even longer and I go yes and that's fine because uh, I'm not, well in this case I actually was the product manager so and she didn't really have any deadlines in this specific scenario so let's account for that. Uh, so I told her that you don't really have a strict deadline here. The thing that you are feeling is the pressure of feeling as if you're not good enough because the team's perception of the story or the work that you're supposed to do is that it's fairly simple and now you feel as if they're judging you because you're taking longer than what they thought the problem sort of was about like the timeline that they would have needed in order to do it themselves basically now the thing is you can fix that problem fairly quickly because it's a problem of perception all you have to do is to make people aware of or give them some insight into the world that you are dealing with. It's similar to how most things with you know poverty or like the fact that people are ignoring like horrible things in the world in around them and so forth. It, because you're not made aware of it or you don't really f you're not really feeling 
the reality of another person, it's easy for you to sort of just put a blind eye to it and ignore it because, you, or in the same thing with, you know, when you're going to war and you dehumanize the enemy, like you're literally killing some son or daughter or something like that, but you don't, you don't think about it that way because it's a, an enemy soldier and that's the dehumanizing part. And you're going through the exact same thing now. Your coworkers are just not aware of that this is more difficult than what seems to be on the outside so you have to bring them inside and so I told her do this I put together a few examples and I said I suggest that we do this and this and that so I gave her a little bit of my thinking about how we would solve this problem and I said All right so now you will in our channel you will just say that yeah well, like I got some help from Frederick or something like that and I, I have this idea of how would how I would like to approach this problem I would like some feedback on it. In other words, you create a small session, you just invite a few of the other developers that work in our team, and you say, I would just give, some, I'd like your feedback on my approach before I get to go into this, this way of doing it. In other words, you're asking for early feedback. Now, what will happen is that you will do the thing I just did with you. You will sit down with these people and you will sort of show them just a little bit of code, like just an example and say, I'm thinking I want to do this and that, but I also noticed that this section here will make it basically impossible to write in a unit test. So I'm probably going to have to fix that. Now, what will happen is that the people who are sitting in the stand-up or doing their own thing, they're not really aware of what you're dealing with, they will all of a sudden know what you're actually dealing with. In other words, you now have a fairly understandable and justifiable cause for taking longer than expected. So when the PO or whoever is asking you, like, why it's taking such time, people will back you up when they say, when you say that, yeah, unfortunately the code is in a bad state. And now your coworkers are aware of it. Yeah, actually that is true because they know what the code looks like and they will realize that, yeah, she's going to have to rewrite A, B, and C because otherwise she, there's going to be no testing. In some cases they're going to tell you, yeah, but we have to ship this really quickly, etc., etc., and they will still like force you to do it in a quote-unquote bad way. But by just having that early feedback session, you change, because perception, guys, perception changes with insight. If you only have a shallow understanding of something or something you're looking outside in, it's one picture that you're getting. But if you're on the inside, you will usually get another picture. And so this is what I recommend that you do. If you feel, because remember, it is usually about you. You are emotionally feeling the pressure of your coworkers not really understanding what you're dealing with, which is the reason why a lot of software developers go into shim programming and you know they get more focused on just shipping the feature than doing it a good job. And the easiest cure for that is to depressurize the situation and basically take some pressure off yourself by just showing that I did not write the thing that is here right now. I'm just a guy or girl who's going to have to deal with it. So I'm suggesting that I do A, B, and C. And that is more difficult than what we originally thought it was going to be. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're dealing with a situation where you're dealing with like bad code or something like that and there's a lot of pressure and people are asking you why are you not done etc etc usually my suggestion is realize that it's a problem of perception people think that you're dealing with an issue that should take a like a certain amount of time where it's a certain level of complexity if you are in a situation where the reality is that you're dealing with some really bad code usually the estimates are wrong now the problem is if you just sit there and let people believe that yeah like this is an easy problem they w will think that you're not a very good software developer just as you probably feel as if you're letting people down and you're not feeling like a very good software developer but all you have to do to fix this problem is to literally just say hey I'm thinking I'm gonna solve the problem this way in other words early feedback show them the code or like after you've done your initial investigation of the problem and you sort of can explain what the problem is and how you're going to approach it if you do that tiny session it doesn't have to be a long session like five ten minutes uh, like 30 minutes that doesn't really matter it's not a big investment for you and if you do that all of a sudden your co-workers will have a new a new understanding of the issue they will have more in-depth understanding or an insight into what they're dealing with because this is the reason most people say that estimates are always wrong 
because when you're estimating something you're doing it with less information than when you're actually doing the coding. In some cases you actually have to do investigative coding to estimate how hard the problem actually is. And you're dealing with that situation right now. You have more insight, but they don't. So give them a little bit of insight and I promise you those stand-ups or like the questions about when it's done and like why are you taking so long and so forth will go easier because people are aware of that hey there are actually circumstances here that make things take a little bit longer. Have a great day.